welcome to the official demo of Atomic PBS. Today I am really excited to show you the very first version of Atomic PBS mobile app. So it has been like most of many of our customers has been waiting for a long time for this mobile app. Finally we have like worked on it for like 6 months to release this mobile app. The main best feature of this mobile app is like it will work offline. So like you don't need an internet connection always to use this mobile app. So it's mostly like it, it can be used mainly for like sales staff if they are in like the field they can easily take this mobile app and they can add the sales from any place and later they can sync it from the system. So let us just so here you can see like I have opened the emulator and then the emulator it's showing me the login screen here. I will just log in with the super admin credential. So we have built this mobile app using Flutter, like it's one of the most popular nowadays popular framework for developing mobile app. So with Flutter you can easily develop, develop cross-platform mobile app with the simple code itself. So here you can see like after the login it is, it is showing me the home screen, and in the home screen like it's showing me details of all the statistics like the number of sales is one sales amount is this one total paid amount is this one and the due amount is this one here and like here we have a button for checking this check-in button it's like it, it is used in the essentials module like if you have checked if you have checked our essentials module then this button is used for like adding attendance in the essentials module so any staff or like anyone can easily add attendance using this mobile app by clicking this button and here it is showing me the details of all the payments like all the payments which has been collected cash is collected this one this many amount if you have like card here it will show the card amount if you have any different payment methods available it will show the details of all the different payment methods which has been collected if i will click on this menu here like it's showing a very beautiful Mm, this background name is and it's showing the name it is showing the name of the shop like i have logged in with a user user of awesome shop so it is showing the name of the shop or the name of the business here <coughs> and here we have the option to change the language like you can see we have english and like here we have arabic dutch french and like spanish here so if i will click on this one like here you can see like it has like we have a support for RTL inbuilt in this mobile app. So this like it is showing in the RTL mode here. If I will change this, I change it again to some different language. Let me change it to Dutch. Yeah, it's back in here. Let me just change it back to English. So um, like we have an option for adding expenses. So like any sales staff or anyone can add his or her expenses directly from the mobile app. And like is, we can easily add customers payment. We can like you can see the list of all the shipments which are pending. Or like list of all the shipments which has been assigned to this particular staff. And here we have a refresh button in the bottom like it's showing the name of the app and the version of this app here. So let me just show you a demo of how we can add a sales. So how, how a sales staff can add, easily add sales from here. So if I will click on this <coughs> button, it is showing me the list of all the products which has been available in our shop. And here we have an option to change the location. So I have only one location. So it is showing me only one location here, which is awesome shop. And here we have an option to search any of the product. Like I can search with any term related to the product and like we have an option here to like scan the barcode so if you have any product you want to scan the barcode and add it directly to your cart you can easily click on this button and you can add it like if you will click on this button it will open the camera 
and from the camera you can easily scan the barcode of the product and like you can add the product directly in the cart and here we have a filter here you can right click on this one like it will show you filter based on the categories and the brands also like you can um, by default like we have enabled in stock so it will show all the product which have the stock in, like which is available in the stock let me just click here and like the this button with this button like you can toggle the view for this particular list of products by default like it is showing the list of products but if suppose you want to see it in a grid view then if i will click on this one it will show the products in the grid view here so like here it is so here it is showing you the image of the product the name of the product and the variation of the product and the variation value. So here in this case it's Levi's men's slim fit jeans, waist size is 28, waist size 30, 32. Like it is showing the list of all the products, the price for the product and the stock which is available for this particular product. So to add any product to the cart you have to just click on this particular product so you can see added to the cart if so i will click it once again it is added to the cart so you can easily add any product by clicking on the product so after you have added to the cart you have to go to this you have to click this cart button from here and here you can see in the list here you can see in the cart like it's showing it is showing the list of all the products which is added to the cart you can easily increase the quantity from here or you can decrease the quantity by tapping this button plus and minus button from here. So with this the total amount will change the you can see like the total amount is changing here. Also like you can delete this you can like remove this product from the cart by clicking on this delete button and click on this button this product will remove from the cart. Also like you can edit the unit price and the discount here, you can also edit the taxes here. <clears throat> and one thing is like also you can scan any product from here like if suppose you are in the cart page and you want to scan a product then you can easily scan a product from by clicking on this button here and like scanning using the phone, mobile phone camera. Also you can search any product to add a new product. Suppose you are in the cart page and you want to add another product. Then with this you can easily search and add any product from here. So in the bottom like it's showing you the subtotal discount percentage and what is the discount here. Tax rate and the total amount here. So if I will click on this next year which is selective of this customer, here it will show you the list of all the customers, you can select the customer from here or like you can add, if suppose you want to add a new customer then click on this one and here you can add a new customer like you can enter the prefix, first name, middle name, last name, address, phone number, city, state, country, zip and add to contact. So with this the contact will get added to your POS system. So I will just select this Harry here <coughs> and I will click on pay and check out. So here in the pay and check out like I can here it is showing me like 1528 with the cash. Let me just make it as thousand with the cash and I will click on add payment so here it is showing me 528 with another method with the card also I can add individual payment modes here and you can enter the shipping charges shipping details and here it is showing you like the total table is this many amount total paying like customer is paying 1528 
the change return is zero and the balance is also zero. Also, you can add a sell note or staff note over here. Here we have an option like to print to enable or disable the print of the invoice. So if I will click on this print invoice and finalize payment, like this sales will get added to our system and like it will print, it will get printed in our printer which is connected to this particular mobile phone. So you can easily connect any Bluetooth printer or like you can easily connect any printer which is supported with your mobile phone. So here you can see like it's a you can easily print it in a 80mm thermal receipt or in a 56mm thermal receipt. Let me just click on the back here. Let me just go to the list of sales. Here it is showing me the list of sales here. So here in the list of sales like you can see all the recent sales here and the all sales here. So in the recent sales like it is showing me this one is the recent sale. The total invoice amount is 1528. Total paid is this one. Customer name is this one. The location is this. Date and time in this one. The payment status is paid. Like I can easily edit the invoice from here as well as I can delete the invoice. Or I can print the, the invoice from here. So like this, so since I already have the internet connection, so like this particular sale is already synced to my online POS system. But if suppose you don't have an internet connection, then like it will show an offline symbol over here. So with each invoice, it will show you, show you a separate offline button here. So if the invoice is not synced with the online system, then it will show, show an offline button here. And you can press this sync button here like the sync button which is displayed here you can press this sync button and like the sales will get synced to your online system if you have a reactive internet connection if i will go to the add sale here like all sales here here you will see, see the list of all the sales here in the recent sales so here i am in the like in the web based POS system. Let me just search this particular shell which is having 237. I will search it here 237. So you can see like this particular sale has already been, been synced with the online system. The invoice is number is this one, customer name is this one, contact to total payment amount is paid, multiple pay. Here it is showing all the details related to this particular sale. Let me just come back to the home screen once again. So the number of sales once again is 2, total sales amount has changed, paid amount, due amount, all these are changing here as per our transaction. The cash is this one, card amount is 528 here. And let me just show you, go, let me just go to the expense screen here. See here in the expense screen like any sales staff they can add their own expenses from here so they have to select a location they have to like select a tax rate here and the expense amount expense note and the pay, payment amount and they have to select a payment method and just click on the submit with this like the sales will the expense will get submitted in the online system and like we have a customer payments so in this customer payments like if suppose we have a customer known as Harry, he had some payment due, then they can easily add any payments from here. And like in the shipments, <coughs> so here in the shipments, like it will show you the list of all the shipments. Like if suppose in the online system, you are creating any shipment from here, let me just go to the online system. and. Here you can add a shipments from here, edit shipment, edit shipping here. So like here if you will add any shipments, so after the shipment has been added, like it will show you the list of all the shipments where you have been assigned. So like easily any 
like any delivery boy he can easily use this app to add shipping to like um, delivery boy like if he or she has been assigned to a shipment then they can easily see all the list of shipments here also like it will show you the google map like it will show you the google map of the destination location where you have to deliver the particular um, parcel so that's all in our mobile app this is all the features which we have for now so i hope you really, you really like this all this feature so we will also add many new features and like we will keep developing this application to make it much more better so that's all in this mobile app and we are soon releasing this mobile app thank you